to the Extra Medium Show. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Extra Medium Show. I'm Corey. I'm Alex. And back. Back. Your favorite, Shaman. Like your favorite. Damn. Oh, yeah, everybody loves some mystery Damn. man. Jeez. That's what I heard. There's a growing uh, buzz about a what, little murmur. what Shaman looks like. Golly. I've had a few questions. What the hell are we talking about this week? We'll leave it for another day. Um, we're talking about coming of age movies. Coming of age. What does that mean, you might ask? I will ask. Uh, kind of movies where like a kid grows up in the movie. Becomes their own. Yeah, they find themselves. Mm. They uh they realize life's a cruel the world's a cruel place. You know how I feel about uh inspirational movies, so You don't like them? I don't. So he- there's a there's a fine line that we may cross. Yeah. You don't like to be inspired? I don't. I don't. It's not real life. Where do you find your, most of them Where do you find real. your inspiration? Hmm? Where do you find your inspiration? Nature. Bob Ross. I like Bob Ross. Yeah. I did get a paint by numbers for Christmas. Very excited about that. <laughs> it's a nice mountain landscape. Oh, uh, you're gonna have to bring well, it on. Well, you going uh, watercolor? Huh? You going mm, no pastels? Oils, I think. Oh. You know. You're gonna you have, have to show us. Huh? Do you have paint? It came with paint. I well, think it came with oil paint. Uh, some sort of paint. I bet it's watercolor. It's definitely not watercolor. <laughs> Why? Because that's, that's a, a whole, type of paint, bro. I understand that, but that's, they're not gonna fucking make a land, mountain landscape paint by number watercolor. They absolutely, they absolutely would no. make that. Same. Would they not make that? The, I, I you, see, yes, but I see Alex's point. It would run and it would not mix. if you do it right. Not a, that's not that's the whole fucking point of watercolor is it fucking bleeds and mixes and yeah, but shit. Not necessarily. Shut shut up. So you're, but you don't know. I think I know. If it's if it is watercolor you have to come back here and you owe me an it's apology it's definitely not water I'll, i'm okay, just saying i'll fucking apologize but i'm not gonna all i can you say will. it's good to be back in the studio because watching you guys argue like that this has nothing to do with our topic off. we've been talking for 45 fucking seconds and i'm already getting grilled <laughs> anyways i just asked a simple i, all I, I asked a simple was. question if you were using watercolor paint no, you lost your mind it's definitely not watercolor like coat it makes me angry that you're <laughs> implying that it could be watercolor it's a possibility. That's a type of paint. <laughs> I understand that, but it's not a type of paint. It's a very common a type paint of paint. Numbers, yes, you uh, have to have control. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Coming of age. Coming of age movies. We're we're cheating. I'm going to be honest. This episode, we're cheating. What well, kind of? Kind of. We're looking them up. We're still doing yeah. our due diligence. I don't know. When you think coming of age movies, what do you think? I kind of think American Pie in a weird way. Yeah, I, would, I was going to say American Pie. I mean, it's a little older, but it's pretty... Uh, I mean, it was when we were growing up, so... Yeah. I it, it was a while before I watched American Pie. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was hitting that age when I was watching American Pie. You so. hitting it? What? It, to do what? <laughs> I was coming of age! Golly. <laughs> Jeez. Shit. With the right button. Are you blushing? <laughs> I'm just saying, like that movie came out. Jeez, gosh. I like uh, Breakfast Club. The Nadia scene is that it? Hey, we're focusing. Oh. Well, I am focused. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Breakfast Club. Okay. I like it. The that's dandruff the part. That's that. That's the one that stands out to me. You, why? I don't know. That's the Breakfast Club, right? Yeah, but like in a good way or a bad no, way. No, this is like when I think Breakfast Club, that's what I think of. I don't know why. The dandruff. Okay. Sorry. No, I'm not. My mad. brain. I'm just. I'm just trying to, trying to understand, man. What about you, Shimona? No, like I said, the American, American Pie. Pie, definitely. Damn. It's a good series too. Like they, like yeah, it doesn't consistent. go downhill like a lot of you know, three and four movies do. I mean, the newer ones definitely kind of went downhill because it's not the same cast and stuff like that. Um, but like. The spinoffs are still good. All the way up and through, like, Reunion was good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, the newer, newer ones, like... Wedding? Oh, Wedding was before Reunion. Well, like, the ones that don't have this, the <clears throat> same cast. I, I haven't watched them. Yeah, th- yeah, those aren't the best. I mean, they're still okay, but... Mm. Okay, so, going off of the IMDb list, mm-hmm. um, I'm not gonna, we're not going to name all of them, because there's, like, 150. Um... 
the parent trap. Okay. They're pretty young for coming of age, though, but... I think it's coming of age for their parents. No. No? They realize they love each other. Yeah, but the movie's not Well, about I can parents. see it for the, the kids only because they're finding out who they actually are. You know? Are they, though? Yeah. They didn't know that, you know, they were twins up until... That's true. ...said year. Yeah. Now their, their whole world is okay, upside Santa. down. It's a, yes. it's an and apt analysis. Yeah, they now have to live knowing that I have a sister. Like, if you, if you found out you had a brother, mm-hmm. it would change your whole life. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, this is a special episode. Our next guest is Shaman's brother. No, no, just kidding. <laughs> uh, what about uh, Stand By Me? Oh, that was a great movie. That's what the bro. leech is, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that that this, created like, see, a fear of mine. It's, it's still a fear of mine. Uh, don't swim in in those kind of uh, ponds. It's like anything, though. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. If I can't see the water. And then they had the leech. If I can't there. see through the water, I'm not swimming in it. Oh, uh, really? That, that's For weird. the most part. I've swam with some. For the most part. I have two and some nasty lakes and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. You smell funny after you get out. In the yeah. back country, you know, it's everybody Seneca go Lake down to the creek. Disgusting. It's yeah. brown. Brown, brown. And somehow there's always like a swing going into it. Oh, yeah. no. Seneca Lake, the people boat and there's a beach, and it's but it's brown. Like, it's, yeah. it's gross. No, I'm spoiled now. You go to the Caribbean a few times. You ever been to the port city of Tortuga? Where's that? I don't know. Jamaica, maybe. I've I don't know. I've been That's to where Jamaica. All the pirates go. I've been to Jamaica, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got like man-made beaches there with no waves. It's pretty sweet. Nice. Is that sweet? Yeah. yeah just swim in the calm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. Right. And you can see right. the bottom. Yeah, no waves. Like, I've yeah. only been to there's the a ocean. rock barrier, so you know, like there's not like large animals necessarily. Yeah, like when I've only been to the beach once, and my ass was getting beat up by those waves, bro. <laughs> We're gonna have an extra medium goes international this year. Yeah. Just wait. Uh, pending COVID regulations. Yeah, we're all about we're the fucking, rules we're here. Going. We're going. Shaman's coming. Alex, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck me. Anyways, holes. That's a good one. Holes is high on the list, buddy. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, when we were going through this, I d- I honestly didn't think of holes. Stanley uh, Yelnet. Yeah, man. but I became man. Thinking about it. Yeah, exactly. They went in, boys, and they came out, man. Don't. Yeah, he went in. Thinking Stanley yelling that's the fourth <laughs> came out thinking I'm a rich motherfucker because I just found all this gold. Well, it's PG thirteen, so so he said it with his eyes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> when, when that bitch popped open, he's like, "Damn, I'm gonna get all the bitches." That's bitch. too damn bad. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that what he says, the grandpa, when she's digging? Oh yeah. Dang, you don't even know yeah. what I'm talking about. I thought you were talking about his grandpa, not uh, uh, the girl's no. grandpa. His dad is Fonzie. Or the yeah. Fonz. Yeah. Well, that's a good movie. That's a classic. Henry like, Winkler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's one of the movies from, like, I, it came out when we were younger. We were in fourth grade, bro. Yeah. You were in fourth grade. <laughs> he was in high school. No. You're what year? Ass, man. What year did it come out? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Shaman's on it, but. 2003. Yep. Okay. Well, I was, no, I was in, like, I was. I wasn't. We were in third. I was in third grade. I was significantly older than you guys. But I was. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Um, Spider Man. Does Which that count? One? Toby Maguire. Mm. Yeah, because he's in high school, gets his powers, and he has to transition into two different people. You know, he has to transition into Toby Maguire, the everyday guy, and then he has to grow into Spider Man, the hero. So I, I saw a it. meme the other day, and it was like, Toby Maguire. Became Spider Man because he got bit by a spider and had had a uh, uh, a well the size of a softball in his hand and just decided to sleep it off. And if that doesn't speak for American healthcare, I can't say <laughs> so, something like that. I butchered it, but it was funny. He's like, "Nah, we're not going to the hospital. We'll just sleep it off." My hand will be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Would you go to the hospital if you got bit by a spider? And, and my like shit I blew did. up like that? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I fucking did. Hell yeah. Dude, that shit had a ring around it. I was like, that can't be good. I was Man. like, what, what can you do? I got some antibiotics. You got the good. Hell yeah. 
sold that shit. Speaking of Tobey <laughs> Maguire, Jake Gyllenhaal is the same person, pretty much. Um, Those two? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty similar, right? They're BFFs. Well, October Sky? I like October Sky. Isn't his dad like the coal miner? Mm-hmm. I think so. It's his, it's like the serious version of uh, Zoolander. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I like October Sky. I don't think I've ever seen it. Well, he they're, built, they're like in a in West Virginia, I something think, uh, like probably, that. and a big coal mining town. And he's really smart, and he like is in a rocket club or something. And is there oh. a competition or something? Yeah, and he's like going to send I've, a I've, rocket. I've seen parts of it. Yeah, like and it. they accuse him for setting a fire or something. Probably, Maybe. yeah. And then he proves the, the principle wrong by going over the, the scientific yeah. arch of the rocket and shit. Yeah. 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 Okay, I've seen parts of it. So, Parts of it? You knew more about it than we did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's not just coming-of-age movies. Days and Confused. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Love it. Uh, that I I can use that movie to check off a whole lot of lists. Best soundtrack possibly. It's up there. Yeah. Both Coming same. of age movie, uh, high school movie, party movie. Yeah. Stoner movie. Stoner movie. Definitely coming soon. By the way, tune in. Next um, week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love them. I, it's just so good. I think the first time I I watched that movie was with you. If out of those guys, who are you? Be be honest. No, be you, honest. Because anything I say, you're gonna fucking say I'm fucking stupid yeah, and I'm I, wrong. Obviously, <laughs> that's all, Corey. Right out of there. Those guys. Who do I think I am? I'm not gonna stand up for a cause like Pink. Okay, okay. Did. Who do you think I am? You Ben Affleck. Fucking getting probably and shit. yeah, beating kids. <laughs> Either that or Matthew <laughs> McConaughey. Yeah, I can see both. Pervin on. Uh, yeah. Don't say it that's like the cool that. Thing about high school. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, it. I'm not gonna do that. We'll cut that. We'll get. We'll get our <laughs> guy on that. Up myself up for that. Now, so you think? Okay, I'd probably be. I don't know. Who would you be? Uh, I don't know. See, I feel like I would stand up for a cause. I, w- I don't think I would. I might be the the kid who hangs out with the older kids because that I'm happened like to me a few times. I'm the guy who was in Rent, the blonde guy, who was with uh, the guy from Saving Private Ryan and the Red Check Hicker. Check later, that guy. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's the guy. All right, so at the end of the party when the guy punches the guy, his friend, the blonde yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's chill. I'm pretty sure he's the one who says check you later, though. No, the, the the other guy like makes fun of him, but it's it's fine. He is no, chill. he says check you later to some girls. Yeah, I know. And then the guy's like check you later, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. That was pretty good. It was. It was a one time. It was. It was good. I appreciate the effort, though. <laughs> oh, I heard something that someone can do an impression earlier. Well, if we're talking about the movie, what yeah. movie can we be talking about? What, Greece? Oh, yeah. Greece, That's yeah. a coming-of-age movie. Greece. Greece. Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It is. I, I, I got to give you... I, t- I can do Sandy. Danny? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. She does kind of have like a British thing on she, the... She's Australian. Like, is that what she is? That, yeah, bro. <laughs> In the movie? I don't know, but that's how she talks. Maybe she has like a kind of American accent, but I think she's a, she's something. She's Maybe Australian she's in the English. movie. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I she's supposed know. to be. Then I don't know. I don't know what she is. Olivia. But Newton no, she John. doesn't. She doesn't. I don't know. Is Olivia Newton John Australian? I don't know. Then why do you say? Why she? I saying? think she is. Why do you say it? Like <clears> that? I'm pretty sure she is. Say it. Well, Sh- Shaman's looking it up. It's a long name, so we have to take a pause. Australian's mm. also a long word. <laughs> <laughs> Where's she from? Australia. Hey! Wow, Olivia and John. Yeah, I know my shit. So she's just not that good of an actress. No, she <laughs> she, she couldn't normal. shake the fucking accent. In so Greece, to high her, school kids. The guy, whoever is related to her, he's from England. Even though Greece does give off a uh, horrible message. Why? Because she just changes everything about her. So Danny, but he Zuko. changed everything about himself too. They met in the middle. No, 
<laughs> they didn't. They met at the opposite end. Yeah, I was about to say, they went back, right? <laughs> well, she became, like, the greaser, and he became, like, the prep. Yeah. And they never... At the end. Damn. When they die and go to heaven. Huh? Yeah. The well, they're already dead. They're just ascending out of limbo. Yeah. Beauty. Is it Beauty School Dropout? That's a great song. Yeah. I think that's Frankie Avalon. Wow. I think. Some great. The opening song for that movie's Primo. Is it? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Not that song. The Grease song. Is that the first song? No, the Grease oh, song. Oh, like the credit song. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he dress up as them for Halloween one year? We I could did. be. We, that's where we should go. What, what are they, the T birds? Yeah, that's that cool. Be. All right, which T bird are you? Kanicki. <laughs> you could be Kanicki. I'm older. Shaman's the guy. I'm off like was like 45. We've already you're, talked you're about this. So. Shaman's the guy who uh, got in trouble for being out of class in the beginning of the movie. The guy with the black curly hair. Uh be honest, I. I I was going to say that I was him. <laughs> so. so you're Danny Zuko? Yeah, I mean, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a weirdo. What about uh, Almost Famous? Yeah. Great movie also. That counts. This this list is fun because there's a lot of really good movies. Like, recognizable movies. Yeah. But he goes and covers the band Lies, right? About how mm -hmm. old he is. Mm-hmm. It's a true Gets story, Gets some ass on the road, right? Does he? He does. Yeah. I think so. They lock him in a hotel room with like four uh, groupies. And it's implied. And he's like 14. It's implied. It's implied. Damn, that'd be nice. What? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. What about to have that? some groupies? If there's any groupies out there, Shaman will reveal himself in more ways than one. Oh, yeah. Well, in le <laughs> if it, as long as there's consent. Yeah, absolutely. Abs we well, follow goes without being uh, said. Just, we follow the rules I need here. To say that we follow the rules here. Jeez, this got weird. Hey, hey, gotta be safe. Fast times at Ridgemont High. We already said it. Did we? No. Oh, we didn't. No. Okay. no. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but it's a good movie. Maybe I read. Who's it. the coming of age character in that movie? They all kind of are. Yeah, yeah, they're all kind of teenagers. Kind of. They all are. They teenagers. are teenagers. Yeah. Um. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen it. Um, that scene. <laughs> Which one? The pool scene? Yeah. Yeah. The other chick gets naked too. Yeah. So she don't get as much recognition. Nobody yeah. talks about her scene. <laughs> the other one's like, what? <laughs> hey. hey. I mean, she got, she put it all out there too. Both very nice. Well, uh, but the other one, yeah. And then like it's been reenacted. And oh, so many different yeah. scripts. I don't know what you're talking about. But very good coming of age movie. Um uh one of my favorites is Dead Poet Society. I haven't seen that yet. I'm you see how big it. his eyes fucking got when he it's said that? It's a very good I wish movie. you guys could see Shame. He's like <laughs> <laughs> It's a very good movie. <laughs> so Yeah. That's all you got to say about that. Have you seen Forrest I wish teachers were more like him, like who call him out? <coughs> oh fuck! Damn! Wow, it was a call. <laughs> oh my god! My mouth is dry. Damn. My bad. <laughs> well, if this is our last show, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> West Side Story is on the list. Yeah, but you could then you could just say Romeo and Juliet. I mean, isn't it? Is that coming Is of it? age though? Because they don't die. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Coming of death. I mean, I guess they come to age real quick, <laughs> and then die. Would you do that? Fuck no. Yeah, no. Yeah, you would. It's insane. You would, Shane. So, no. Yeah. Fuck that. You're you're a hard. Juliet lover. must do some things. Some things. I don't know, man. I mean, what was the life exp expectancy back then, anyway? You oh know? yeah, short. That's what I'm saying. Like thirty or a grandpa. He's like, dude. Nah. He he was just trying. He was he was calculating in his head. Like, if I live to be thirty, like what? How much am I gonna get between now and then anyway? So I'm just gonna maximize this time with Juliet. And I remember we watched the like 1960 <laughs> Romeo and Juliet movie in my sixth grade English class. Wow. And there it's was a blow there was uh, nudity in it. Boy. Was that cool? 
<laughs> see some boobs at school? <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. But then, like, <laughs> we were in two different English classes. I ain't never seen it. So, <laughs> man, oh man, that would that. Be, I don't know. Did everybody like laugh and stuff? Hmm? Did everybody laugh? No. Or did you try and be like, yeah, shit? But I ain't the first time I seen boobs. What are those? B cups. That shit's all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's just mid for real. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate the internet. It's what? worse that we both knew what you were saying. Of course you know what I'm saying. Because it's yeah. the way people talk nowadays. It's ridiculous. Less word do trick. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, say many words when few word do trick? Shame uh, a name off a sad coming of age movie ooh. right now. Uh, there should be one on, on the tip of your tongue. Oh, uh, Bridge of Terabithia. Yeah. I think I read that book. Yeah, it was a book. In fourth grade. <laughs> in fourth grade. That's the guy from Hunger Games, too, right? Yep. See the boy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, Peter. Peter. <laughs> That's his name. Peter Malark. Yep. I just watched all the Hunger Games. Could have been. What did you watch? Shit. Have you ever seen the movie Tuck Everlasting? Yeah, the kid but it's can't been. can't die. Yeah. Why? It's been a long time. He though. drinks. I think he like drinks something, and like the it's like, becomes like a curse though, because like you drink everybody from the dies. Of you? That's pretty much what it is. Would you do it? Yeah. Yeah, because the fountain use only keeps you young, right? Doesn't keep you immortal. I have no. I don't know. I think it's been portrayed both ways. Okay, so if it kept you immortal, the answer is yes to both. <laughs> <laughs> like, like in the one Pirates of the Caribbean, um. It like it heals him. It heals and uh, uh, Indiana Jones. It keeps you alive forever, but you have to be able to drink from it. Yeah. Still, hmm. immortal so. though, because at some point, because yeah. Alex has brought this point, up, everybody you know dies. Yeah, and you're just by yourself for the rest of your life. And you've mentioned this before. And at some point, you're just like, I don't want to live anymore. Like it's kind of sad when you put it that way, but. Like you said, everybody, everybody knows it's like died. a Highlander situation. You have to get your head cut off. Uh-huh. Imagine being the last person on, or in the world. On the world. What if, like... So, like, if you're immortal, immortal, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, the Earth explodes. Mm-hmm. You just float it in space. Yeah. yeah, but see, what happens with that? Because the Earth's not going to explode. The Earth is going to get absorbed by the star... By the sun when it collapses so it's going to turn into almost like a black hole situation so then what happens to your matter right when you fucking if you're immortal right that's deep Woo! because yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of stunned us because Alex just no. went full tear <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that ain't it my dog farted I, ho- I hope it's my dog if it's not it's Alex oh, but it's making my eyes water the way he looked at me was pretty guilty though no, no. <laughs> it's pretty bad <laughs> she's unforgiving golly she'll make eye contact with you and do some shit like that and just wreck your whole evening Alex will too <laughs> that's yeah, true you gotta be assertive I can taste it. Uh, <laughs> moving on. We'll try. I can't focus. Mean Girls. Yeah. Does yeah. that count? Yeah, yeah. because she learns her lesson. Yeah. You know? She redeems herself. You guys have all seen Mean Girls? Oh, yeah. I think everybody's seen Mean Girls. Have you seen Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants? Yes. Sadly. You have? Yeah. I haven't. But it's on the list. And I thought you may have. Have you? What's it about? Um, a pair of pants. Well, there's this yeah, group of girls. The, I, yeah. I have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, know, like, bro. I don't know why I lied. Because <laughs> you didn't want to explain it. Zero credibility. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know. So what's it about? Uh, they have a pair of pants, and like when they wear it, good shit happens, right? Yeah. And then they'll be like, "Hey, borrow these pants." And then the next person. How they all fit. Are they really sisters or are they just. No, it's just a group of girls. Um, How they all fit in the same (laughs) size (laughs) pants is beyond me, though. Hey. Are they all different shapes and sizes? Yeah. I mean. And they still wear the same pants. Exactly. Does it show them fitting different on each person? Yeah. It, well, then that makes sense. No, it's like the same pair of pants. Yeah, it's the same pair of pants, but they all fit in it, and it's like they all fit the same way. Yeah, um, like they're not tight on some people and loose nah, on others. No, no, 
Huh. They're like, That's the thing that it's, it's, like, so it's clearly the, not the same the pair of pants. Were tailored to them. Exactly. Like, are they magic pants or is it just implied magic? I don't know. Well, it's how you read into the movie. Okay. Really. Sorry, I just got questions. You tell me that people share pants. And Would special. you share my pants? No. That's probably wise. <laughs> Anyways. For multiple reasons, and I don't, I don't think I need to get in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One for um, I, I, hygienic I'll say purposes. <laughs> You'll say what? I'll say it. You guys are two different sizes. That? <laughs> we could do What size shoe you wear? My size? Damn. Those would look nice well, on that, my That's what you say to someone if someone comes up to you and says, hey, what size shoe you wear? You don't tell them. Because if that's their size, they're going to steal your shoes. Damn. He just knows. I feel like saying my size is slightly aggressive. Also. It is, but you got to stay on your ground, buddy. Shit. Keep I got to fit your guys' shoes. You couldn't walk a mile in my shoes, buddy. I couldn't even put them on. <laughs> Stop. Because you're talking about shoe size, but it's making you sound demean. Like I, I don't think so. Fuck them. What size shoe you wear? 18. 16. 16? Yeah. Wide? No, oh, 15 yeah. and a half wide. 16 normal. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Why? You asked me. You ever see Superbad? Of course I've oh, seen yeah. Superbad. That's a coming of That's what I said, bad. like. That's a good <clears throat> it's possibly like one of the most realistic dialogues. Yeah. Like the way kids talk to, at least when I was younger. I agree. The way kids talk to each other. Damn oh, yeah, when we were in high school. Before you were 18. Once. <sighs> I did a lot of things. He's a rebel. Been a lot of places. Yeah. Took a lot of days off, which leads me to my next <laughs> movie. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Jesus. You like that? <coughs> that was like a, one of, uh, like, a, like a radio host. Yeah, I didn't even see that one coming. I'm good. God damn it. Um, but no, is Ferris Bueller real? Ooh. We, have we talked about well, yeah, this? Yeah, we have talked about, about that, this. That yeah. it's a figment the, of his Of Cameron's imagine. imagination. Yeah, because it's like what he wants to be. Mm-hmm. But it's not because does he happen. really come to age though? Ferris, he yeah. doesn't really learn his lesson, does he? No, he gets I away with so. it. But that's kind of a lesson in itself that sometimes bad guys win. <laughs> Ferris Bueller's not. I Is mean, he a bad guy? He's not a. I mean, he's he's obviously the good guy of the movie, and he's cool and everybody all that, but like. See a good he's, student now. Yeah, he's doing he's doing the wrong thing the whole movie. Yeah, he talks him into uh, stealing the dude's yeah. dad's car, skips school. I mean, and he still wins. Exactly. That's all. I got you. What about uh? Would you consider no? Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I don't even want to ask. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Perks of Being a Wallflower? Nah. It's actually a very good movie. Nah, I'd, fan. I'd, I'd recommend it. It's a pretty good movie. Um, This kid moves into a new town. Uh, he's trying to make friends, and he becomes friends with this odd group. I don't want to say bad kids, but they're just loners almost. Okay. And, it's, you know, it's... It's a teenage movie, you know, they do stupid shit, um, become good friends. The one kid gets depressed because the girl moves away that he likes. It's a good movie, though. Hmm. What, um, see, I guess, like, Road Trip's a little old. Like, they're, they're they're a little old in Road Trip to be coming of age, because they're in college. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But does age, uh, yeah, I guess Euro age. Trip. Yeah, because they're... The guy realizes that the sex drive. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? Oh, that's that's, that's a good movie. movie. <laughs> that's where they get the um, they go to the rum uh, spring. And, yeah, dude, those Amish cool. people party. Yeah, I want to go to one of those. It'd be wild. You know, have you ever seen Little Miss Sunshine? Yeah, that's fucking sad. Yeah, but I think it is sad and realistic. Yeah, gosh, rips out your heart. I don't know. 
I guess, like what I said earlier in the episode where I was worried about inspirational movies, not a lot of coming-of-age movies are inspirational. You know? Like, some are, but most of them... Like, would you say The Mighty Ducks is coming-of-age? Mm. Something like I would that. say the thir- like the third one is. The first one's coming of age for uh, Bombay. <laughs> no, he's what a grown mean? up. I know, but that it doesn't have to be physical. Yeah, I, I can I, I can see your point because he's realizing he doesn't have to be a big shot. Yeah, but that's like every movie. I think coming of age. I think like does it have to becoming be your own person? Like people growing up, like leaving adolescence. Okay. Like Peter Pan. I guess would be. What about clueless? Yeah, yeah, I think that counts. Um, yeah. To your eyes, not everything's you know perfect and well, here's paid for. One. Blast from the past. Is that coming of age? He's an adult, but obviously there's exterior. Yeah, I, w- I would, I would, I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah, because he's venturing out for the first time. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Is that the Lord of the Rings? I don't think so. No? <laughs> hey, just Because they're, they're all like adults and old and... Well, then what about Star Wars? Star Wars is... The yeah. longest coming of age movie ever. Exactly. Um, because... Uh, Luke? Yeah. Sorry. I was, I, was, I was stuck on Anakin and I couldn't think of his son's name and yeah... Luke. Like the most famous guy from Star Wars yeah, ever. Yeah, exactly. And well, I, I'm very ashamed of Darth it. Vader. Vader, definitely yeah. Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah. Vader. I'm, I'm very ashamed that I, I dropped the ball on that one. It's okay. Um, but yeah, Luke's like just becoming a man. He's trying to fight his uncle to get out of the house. Yeah, he's soft in the first one. He's yeah. a pussy. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to say that, but technically it's the fourth one. But yeah, yeah, that's true. Episode four, the first one, episode four. Yeah. You right. You right. Have we just talked about the uh, original? Yeah, three. I think. I mean, we've mentioned the other. Yeah, the original trilogy. That's all we've like broken down. We need to get a uh, Jedi J. Jedi. J. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that name, but I don't care. Sorry, it's better than Danny DeVito. It's not. It's not. Nothing's better than Danny DeVito. The goat. Um, I have one near and dear to my heart. Okay. What you nobody's ever probably heard of. It's called Josh and Sam. It might have been direct to DVD or direct, not DVD, direct to VHS. Oh, uh, don't laugh! Damn, <laughs> the kid oh, has like a. We had VHS, is what you laughing? Yeah, at? Yeah, but damn, I never heard of somebody saying direct look, to uh, VHS. Look that shit up, and uh, it's like a kid and his younger brother, and they have like a shitty stepdad that they don't like, and they like run away, and steal a car. Made in nineteen ninety three. Yeah, but it was cool. I wasn't born. Yeah. <laughs> and they crash the car, and the kid's ca- head is cut, and he takes a maxi pad and put tapes it to the kid's head as a band-aid. Resourceful. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> you should watch it. It's a good movie. I think it's on YouTube. Three Ninjas? Yeah. Coming of age? I don't know about that, the but first fucking one, Three Ninjas. I think the first one. They learn to be ninjas. Rocky loves Emily. Emily. Oh, so yeah, good. I would say... Coming of age, yeah, they're learning that not everybody's nice, and you know and you got to defend. Hiya, yourself. yeah, exactly. They say hiya like so. That's much. the most That's said crazy. word in those movies. Yes, That's fucking crazy. And like they give up their stealthiness, like with the hiya. Yeah, yeah. like right, be- like they're sneaking up on a guy right before they hit him. They go hiya, yeah. and, and they gotta every- uh, yeah, everybody <laughs> on the <laughs> shit now knows they're there. And it's like, dude, yeah. you're a ninja. You're supposed yeah. to be quiet, right? I see what you're saying. But I feel like they lose a lot of force if they don't say the haya. Hmm. You know? And how would a movie sell in America? Yeah, and the one kid's like four years old out there fighting people. Like he's Some probably people? he's yeah. probably older than four, but I don't know, like probably like seven, six. eight. Yeah. Yeah. He was maybe. definitely still in grade school. <clears throat> Freaks and Geeks, can we talk about a TV yeah, series? TV. I mean, yeah. We'll get, yeah, I mean, there's, but then that opens up a whole nother. I, since it's such a small series, I'm going to count it as a movie. Isn't it only like one season? One season, yeah. yeah. That was a good Rogan. show, too. Mm-hmm. What'd you say? Seth Rogen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of people, actually, but... Yeah, it was cool. It was, like, dark and realistic. 
Yeah. Not the the bright side of high school. Oh yeah, the jocks and the cheerleaders. Yeah, not the yeah. awesome life that Shaman lived. Prom king, all that shit. It's true. <laughs> I was going hard at prom, so. Damn, what's that mean? I, I was in the middle of the circle with everybody dancing. To flow riders low. Damn. <laughs> I was in the bar at that point. You were probably blackout. Possible. Possible. Nah, I didn't really get blacked out. You, ne- you never been blackout drunk? A couple times I like got real. Yeah, uh, but. You ever end up at the hospital? Nah. I have. <laughs> but, Ambulance and everything, bro. Yeah, it was wild. Fucking. He, he did not have a good day. Felt fine the next day, though. Yeah, they really they gave pumped you. his fucking stomach. Yeah, he had more vitamins yeah, no. than he's ever had in his life. <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever they put in that, like, I think they just gave me a saline bag or some, uh, I don't know. Vitamins. Yeah. But that shit, I was right as rain. Right, right as, as rain? rain? How old are you? <laughs> what? You gonna go down to the soda fountain? <laughs> Give him a nickel. Get us go down to the soda fountain. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I didn't know that was an old saying. <laughs> it just sounds old. I don't know. People don't say that. <laughs> yes, they do. Hey, where do they say that at? People say it at my work all the time. Yet yeah, I'm the youngest Shaman one there. So. Time machine company. <laughs> <laughs> Alex over here losing it. <laughs> Uh, the same kind of person to say holy mackerel. <laughs> holy mackerel. <laughs> I do I know say that. <laughs> oh, really? yes. I know a guy that says that. Well, you you know a guy too. Oh, yeah. All right, let's move on. On to the next. <sighs> on to the next. Wait, we, that's all? What was the number one on the on the IMDb list? Breakfast Club? Yeah. What was number two? Uh, like American Graffiti? That's I good. I haven't seen that. That's a good one. You have never seen that one. I mean, there's a lot that we're leaving off. Oh yeah, definitely. There's a lot. Um. Hmm. Sixteen candles. Sixteen candles. I'm glad you said that. That's a yeah. good one. Say anything too. Is it, what's the one where he stands outside? Let's say with, anything with the radio. Let's say anything. The, okay. You just didn't let me finish. Oh, I knew what you're doing. Yeah, but the people don't necessarily know. You're absolutely right, and I'm sorry. That's but a, no, even it's okay. if you would have finished, they still would have known. Standing outside with the, they didn't know. Maybe they were sta- it, what, if they don't see you, they don't see you doing that. I know. That's what I'm saying. I, was, but I said radio. Eventually, you just didn't let me get. Did you that. say radio? I did. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're always on his side. Like, remember the Titans might have been on the list. See. Yeah. Too no. much inspiration. Too much inspiration. Too much. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna How say. How do you not it. like that Stop. movie though? <laughs> I'm not gonna Stop. say because I know. <sighs> I don't know how you feel. I don't mind that movie. <laughs> that movie's. I hate The Blind Side. Yeah. Okay. I, I like that. The Blind Side. Hate it. Yeah, I don't. But like I can understand why you don't like it. We've already. I've already discussed my uh, dislike for this. But yeah, we we've been on this for a while. If you have uh, any more that we left off, which I'm sure that we do, feel free to voice your opinion. Um, yeah. And we'll. Uh, Let's move on to what did you watch? We'll start reading them out. On reading what out people's uh whenever anybody hits me up and tells me they forgot I'm gonna also a few episodes ago I said that my dad drinks vodka and cranberry which is a lie is it well he did but I have to make a retraction I promised him I would and I keep forgetting I just I just I just remembered but he he's been drinking bourbon for like two years yeah. straight hey. right? yeah. just like yeah like he has all these bur- smoking cigars I don't know does he have a leather chair. Uh, no, but he should. He should. And he should get, like, a jacket. Yeah. Like, a smoking jacket, like Hugh Hefner, with his name engraved in it. I can see it. Christmas is right around the corner. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's just, like, 300. A corner. A corner. It's not the closest one. All right. Well, apparently, I'm the only person that drinks vodka cranberry. You're not, but... I like it. Do you? I I mean, it's not the first thing I order, but it'll be on the list of something I order. Jack and Coke for J- Shaman. Yep. What's your McDonald's order? Jesus, that's personal. I haven't ate McDonald's in. Or right, what was it? Though? I don't know. Two double cheeseburgers, McChicken, and a fry. Respect. I'm a classic. Big Mac meal. 
Sprite or Coke because they have good Coke. I do enjoy. Yeah, not like no Colombia. Coke, yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> the Coke is better than some of the other fast foods because you always get like that less fizzy. So no, it's, like, it's something about the lines that are like switch it out they go through so much so oh, yeah oh i used to work at mcdonald's you know how many cases they would have of that how many dickhead like yeah. they, they, they <laughs> what? Would, <laughs> what are you supposed to say yeah yeah i know well no they, they have like they have the uh <laughs> uh like club soda in a full tank and then they have the pouches yeah. of actual soda and they mix it through the lines well, Coke w- would have like you know ten boxes. Well, well that's everything that's else has maybe two. All right, well that's what, that's that's the answer I was looking for. I'm not a yeah, dick. Yeah, it, it was like it would go Coke, Sprite, orange, uh, the orange drink, which they, which they brought back. Yeah, did they? Yeah. yeah. Oh um, shit. And then like everything else would have maybe one or two. Diet's probably on the blo- on the bottom. I Actually, think diet would be up there though. Yeah, everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna diet Coke. Yeah, exactly. I think it was that was like fourth, but. Yeah, I, I I usually had to fucking load that shit, so that sucked. I bet the listeners of this episode did not know they were going to hear the hierarchy of beverages at McDonald's. You know, you learn something every day. Uh, though. <laughs> at least one thing. <laughs> and, then, and once you do, you're just right as rain. <laughs> oh, to the next segment. <laughs> See, instant callback right there. Yeah. Professional. Um... What did you want? <laughs> no, the countdown. Oh, the countdown. Coco. 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 Okay, so um, I liked the movie. Um, the first time watching it, um, it was a good movie for you know, you know, kind of a kids movie, but kind of a lot of those cartoons like that animated. I'm sorry, animated movies um, are What's made for difference? both because they know adults are gonna sit through it. Yeah. So Why did you correct yourself? Just because I don't think it's necessarily a cartoon. Yeah. Okay. I think um, cartoons like thirty minutes. Yeah, so. I didn't realize it came out now. Well, it came out in twenty seventeen. I didn't know it was that old. Um, I knew it was a couple years old, but I didn't think it was twenty seventeen old. Um, but I liked it. Um, I saw the twist at the end coming, but not like the main twist, like the huge twist. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to spoil it because it's it's still a f- it's pretty new. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, a t- musical movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Songs it's, in it were very good. And it's very visually it's like pleasing. Dia de las Muertes. Is that how you say it? I'm like a white person. <laughs> That's what I do best. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but like you said, it's very pleasant to the eyes. Like, all the colors in it yeah. were fantastic. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing. G- kind of a good message. You know, don't you know, fuck with dead people's shit. Uh, but, yeah. Grave robbing Which I is disagree. A crime. I disagree with. With what? With the whole you can't move stuff. Yeah, I yeah, no, we've, dude, been, we've talked he, about he, it. He didn't move it, he ghouls. stole it. Yeah, stealing it's different, but like Yeah, he needed a Eventually the world's gonna be filled up. I am gonna ruin the like the plot of how so you it started. You move stuff. To where? Yeah. Somewhere else, make a pile. Jesus. Uh, actually I have a story about that. S- send it to outer space. Just shoot it out there. Um, but I am going to ruin, like, how the, the movie actually takes place and how it gets started. Well, his family was against music, but he wanted to become a musician. Right. Like, the famous musician that everybody wush- worships in that f- town that he's in. Um, so there's this, like, music festival coming up. And bef- right before it, like, his, Coachella. Yeah, his grandma, on. like, smashes his guitar. Damn. And so he's scrambling to find a new guitar. So he steals the guitar from the famous guy's, like, crypt. Mm-hmm. And by doing so, he gets cursed. And he ends up going to the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the um, other side. So he can get uncursed by his family members, mm-hmm. his dead family members. That's, and that's how it's called. It's kind oh. of a dark premise for a yeah, kid. Yeah, exactly. Kid, but it subconsciously teaches kids that death is okay. Yeah. Not okay, but yeah, but it also makes you think happens. death isn't the you know the last thing, or but yeah, it's got to it's debatable. <laughs> what do you think? Oh God! <sighs> All right, this is a whole nother episode, part two. No, nah. I mean I I like the movie. Um, what do you think? What? <laughs> I was trying to stay off the <laughs> darkness. 
I hope for reincarnation, okay. but really, yeah. Do you think you have good karma? See, but that's yeah, not. I do, but that's not like to me reincarnation. So like, you wouldn't remember this exactly. So that's not you. Mm, sometimes you remember. You feel me? There's been people who like remember their past lives, and no one can explain it. Mm-hmm. Or they just made that shit up. I mean, it, no, some no. some of them are very fucking convincing. Like they knew shit that no one else knew. Mm-hmm. Like. Like a, a you two, believe this? A two-year-old remembering somebody, some guy who lived in China three hundred years ago. Like name and names, telling exactly where the hut was. And yeah, shit. exactly. Like, I died in a plane crash in nineteen twenty. You did? No, huh. I'm just saying. Like a four-year-old. If he just unloaded that shit on us, that would have been wild. <laughs> He's the guy with Amelia Earhart. <laughs> oh shit! Alex would have been inspired. But oh my god! Alex doesn't get inspired. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But yeah, that's my view. Um, Damn. But I don't knock at you know other things like that's I'd fun. like to believe in the afterlife. Yeah, so. I'm not gonna comment on this. But uh, I think it's a solid movie. Uh, I think for it's a pretty a movie. kids. Flick. It's one of it the be- pretty. It's one of the better newer like you know animated movies in my opinion. Yeah, they do a good. Job. It's they don't like dumb it down for kids, which uh, I I hate. Yeah, it yeah. was it was good. Six point two. Mm. I'd have gone as seven one. Six eight. Three six nine. Dude. Uh okay. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> what did you watch? I've been so excited about this. Do you wanna go I first can't or you wanna go myself? Okay, Fuck it, I'm going first. Okay, go for it. I wanted to talk about it. We we're on PlayStation chat. PlayStation is superior to Xbox. It's a different yeah. conversation. Mm-hmm. Um But uh I watched don't look up. Oh, really? I heard that's very good. I heard it wasn't. What? Yeah. Who'd you hear it from? Uh, reviewers on TikTok. I, I thought I've heard, it was I've outstanding. heard nothing but good things I about it. I thought it was outstanding. It I is a modern day version of Idiocracy with a more serious take. I heard that it's just people, like, it's just satire. There's no, like, meat behind it. Uh, that's what I've heard, so I don't know. But that's You'll what have they, to watch, watch it to give your own opinion yeah. then. Yeah. I, I've heard... So it is, it. It's, a, it's a lot of satire. Mm-hmm. And they're clearly taking shots at people that you would recognize. All right. Mm-hmm. That being said, the message is pretty realistic. Did everyone like flip shit? Because it's like an asteroid's coming. So there's right? these scientists, Leonardo DiCaprio, figure out that there's a comet coming straight at Earth. And that is like six months. And they're going on these shows and trying to talk to the president and the government, and nobody's taking it serious. And they're like screaming at the top of their lungs, like, yeah, please. Aren't they, yeah, aren't they like, you're all going to die? Off. Yeah. Yeah, like, and nobody's taking them serious. They think they're crazy. And, then and see, nowadays, people would do that. Then the government figures out a way to try and make money off of it, and it becomes this whole thing. And it's like, I, I'm not going to ruin the ending for you, but I was kind of shook. Everybody dies. I was kind of shook. Have you seen it? No. Uh, I mean, I was kind of shook. I'm not. Uh, Do you think that's how the world's going to end? No. No. I think it's going to be a slow burn. But, uh, man, watch it because it's, like, yeah, it's yeah. scary realistic. There's a ton of people in it, too. Meryl Streep. Mm-hmm. I feel like if uh, the world does end, it's kind Jonah of going to be Hill. like uh, Interstellar. Yeah. Jo- <laughs> Jonah Hill is the president's son. Advi- oh. But yeah, no. He, so he's it, like an advisor. He's the, like her top advisor. Like a certain. But other he's president the president's son, president but the president's son. a woman in the movie. But Jonah Hill carries uh, like the nuclear code. Nu- nuclear? Nu- nuclear? 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 <laughs> uh, the code's around in a Birkin bag. It's like a $40,000 Birkin bag, and he like carries it around. He's like super like mean and like. He's funny. But he's like absurd and mean and like rude and just it's uh it gets intense though like I thought it was going one way and it kind of went another way. But you should absolutely watch it. I've been telling everybody to watch it. Yeah, somebody at w- don't look up. Or, yeah, don't look up because eventually they can see the comet. And oh, then shit. you know what I mean? It's like uh, it's yeah. a dot. And the guy's like, just look up. And it becomes this huge thing. Just look up. And then there's a whole group of people who are having up. rallies. Don't look up. Like, yeah, it's insane. Oh, shit. But it's pretty wild, man. I'm telling you, watch it. You will not be disappointed. It was tra- It was like number two on Netflix. It's probably number one now. But 
Mm. I also watched a Netflix production. Was that a Netflix movie? I think so. Yeah, yeah. it was. Dude, there were a ton of people in it. Yeah. Too. I watched. Kid I Cuddy. started watching. Ariana Grande was in it. Um, The Silent Sea. Have you seen that on any on there? I've seen it on there. I haven't watched Silence. it. Silent Letter C or S E A. And it, it's Korean. And it's the one I'm watching. I don't know if there's two versions like Squid Games. But it, the one I'm watching is dubbed with uh, English voices. And uh, it's basically kind of like a... What? I don't know if it's... I'm, you're, du- you're a dub guy? That's what they gave me. Uh, okay. I don't mind it. Um, if it's good enough. It's like Interstellar where the Earth is drying out and shit. And sh- the stuff's dying. Mm-hmm. So on Earth now, it's like 50 years in the future. I might be wrong, but it's... Not, it's you know, water is scarce. So people have these debit card things and you can go up to like an ATM thing and you have a water jug and it'll fill you up. And like the lower level people have can get like a liter of water a day and then the rich people get like you can a get bath. like a, a they gold have swimming card. pools and yeah, shit. shit like that. So these the the main character is a like a, a biologist kind of thing. And she gets, they go up to the moon. There's a moon base that was closed a year ago because some incident, the radiation killed a whole bunch of people. And they had to retrieve something for this mission. And But shit goes wrong. It's almost like aliens, where you go to an abandoned space station or whatever and ships arrive. Yeah. They figure out that, like, the moon, it, the people didn't die for what the reason. It's kind of a spoiler, but. It, the, the most of the movie is them on the moon base and it's really really cool it's like a thriller like aliens um but it almost is kind of like i'm sorry kind of like your movie where it has modern day relevancy yeah. to what motives you know yeah. of certain things so it's cool if you can handle the dub it'd be good i mean it, there's the probably first, a version you could watch in korean with subtitles i'm sure i'm sure but, yeah, because the first episode, you get kind of almost disoriented if you're watching it with the voices not matching the mouths, you know. It's not like old Godzilla. No. No, it's it's done well. <laughs> it's done <laughs> really well. But That's funny. I think the dubbing in this is better than in Squid Games. Right. What'd you watch, Shaman? I went old school. Um, I went uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two from the eighty or ninety one. Um, that's the one with the uh, two like dinosaurs. Yeah, thing. the uh, tur- the snapping turtle. Yeah, and the, uh, bro, those things are those are guys are awesome. Yeah, the secret of the ooze. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it was just a good throwback movie. Damn, um, what'd you watch it on? Netflix. All right. Yeah. Two and three is on Netflix. I think one is on YouTube. Yeah. I was looking for one, you I'm know, pretty, to start off the trilogy. Yeah. And all right, I'm getting into it then. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, th- like I said, it was a good throwback. I just felt good. I need to watch those. So good. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, wh- why do you like Casey Jones a yeah. lot? Is it, it, the, he's in the like third one, right? He's in the first one. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's is that who yeah, was? yeah, yeah. That's Stabler. Yeah. What? Stabler from SVU. Casey Jones. That's oh, really? the same guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah. I guess I didn't realize that. Really. He's, like, he's young. Uh, he is right. extremely young. Well, let me ask you guys this: Damn. since you guys know the series, what Ninja Turtles are you? See, this is this is a sensitive question for me. Why? Because right, there's four Ninja Turtles, right? You were the fifth friend. I was the, well, I was the fifth cousin. Oh, shit. Uh, so like, <laughs> I have a brother, and then there was an older cousin, and then another cousin who was a little bit older. All boys. Than me. Yeah. So then they were the four Ninja Turtles, and then I would always have to be like the, the rat, <laughs> something else. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he's uh, like uh, the other cousin, other one of the cousins wouldn't be wouldn't be there, and I'd I'd have to be Raphael because he was always the last one picked. Really? Yeah. I'd have picked I'd have picked him over. Which no. one are you? I'd say purple one's uh, Donatello, Donatello, right? With yeah. the sword? That's probably no. Shaman. He's no, like the computer Leonardo, guy. He's yeah. like the smart yeah. one. Leonardo's, Leonardo's got the, the sword. Swords. Donatello's got the stick. Yeah. All right, what's his personality? He's like smart. Smart, and he's yeah, he's like guy. that. Yeah, yeah. He's one who like Raphael's solves. what? Raphael's like the bad boy. Like the yeah. hot, mad one. hothead. I guess I could be him too. Michelangelo's like goofy with the, the orange nunchucks. One. Orange one eats pizza. and fucking. Yeah. Which one would I be? I'll be honest, you're probably I'd say Leonardo because you're, you're like the center point of our group. Or, or Raphael. 
You think I get mad? Yeah. I do get mad sometimes. Yeah. I would probably be... Well, I might be Raphael, though. Yeah, no, I don't... I want to say that. I'm Michelangelo? Yeah. If you're Donatello, then I gotta be Michelangelo. Only because you don't get mad. I get mad, just not in public. Yeah, like, around us, I don't think I've ever really seen you mad. I've seen it, man. I've been peeved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you, you know, upset, but I've never seen you like mad. I've exclaimed. Mad. <laughs> well, you have a funny jokester. Like right. you crack right. more jokes I'll than I do. That. So, right, well, trying to suck pizza, you. dude. Something like that. Speaking of the pizza, <laughs> why is food in like <laughs> movies and shit look so much better? Uh, the Ninja Turtles pizza is off the chain. Yeah, and everything, cartoons, movie, it especially the cartoon. Man, yeah. that shit would be cheesy as hell. Yeah. I used to have a uh, a Ninja Turtles truck, and you hit a button and it shot pizzas. Oh, okay, I remember that. Like you had pizza discs, you know what I mean? But I they didn't were get pizzas. cool toys like that. <laughs> I didn't like those kind of toys. I I like GI Joe. Yeah, that's it. Damn, I had bro, Hot I had Wheels. All the Ninja Turtles. I got Ninja Turtles up over there. I had Hot Wheels. There's I had GI right Joes there. too. Yeah. I, I didn't have like GI Joes. I, I had Army Man. I liked. Matchbox over Hot Wheels because really? Matchbox cars were like I, had both. I wasn't really yeah. into cars. You could get like a fucking forklift Matchbox car, which I had both. Cool. I, I had, had both. dinosaurs. Nah, I didn't, my I favorite didn't toy as a kid was this like giant, like sh- pirate ship, and like you could mo- like change it and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was so fun! Man, I had a couple pirate ships. I had a bunch of those little tykes. I think they were little tykes, uh, like a castle. Yeah, and. There's a Robin Hood Forest one. I had a, uh, I don't even know what they were called. They were these dinosaurs that rode motorcycles, right? I know oh, what you're talking yeah. about. Maybe. But I, um, I was playing outside with them, right? And they were doing construction. They were like putting new sidewalks down mm-hmm. outside. Yeah, they would always do those. And uh, I was playing in the dirt and shit. And I had to go. Like my mom called me from somewhere. I left my toys outside. Came back. The sidewalk was paved. And my toys were in the dirt gone under the sidewalk damn no remorse from the uh, construction guy. i don't even know if they saw him you know what i mean oh they probably saw him well they're gone th- th- that was and they tore that job. sidewalk up like not that long ago and i told them to look and they said they didn't see him so i don't know what happened damn. maybe they stole him man. damn damn that, that wrecked th- my that's childhood the, yeah that's the whole i don't even know what they were called i can't find them i've looked for it that's a whole not my job to the T, man. He they ain't give no fucks. Yeah, I think about it every night before I go to bed. Think about it every night and day. That's pretty good. You like that. And with that, <laughs> I think we're done. Give us some feedback. Let us know. Um, give us some ratings. Whatever you listen to us on or watch <clears throat> us on, give us a couple ratings. Yeah, we we're supposed to have a guest this week. Um, they were extenuating circumstances. <clears throat> Hopefully it's been pushed to next week. Look out for the announcement of our guest on our various social medias. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as always, thank you for listening. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs>